Greetings, dear friends and family members of the Church of the Nativity and Holy Comforter. It is good to be with you this Holy Week, and I want to give a special invitation to you to join us for our services, uh, five of them, I believe. If you missed Palm Sunday, the recording is in the email and on our website. It was a powerful rendition of the Passion. Wednesday night, we have a service of prayer and reflection, a meditation with Pastor Don on Ah Holy Jesus, how Judas' betrayal of Jesus changes the whole story. On Monday, Thursday night, we remember the Last Supper and I'll lead a meditation, the most memorable meal. What is your most memorable meal? Is it the food or the people or the location? We end that service with the stripping of the altar. On Good Friday night, we will walk the Stations of the Cross virtually together with some special music and also with artwork that has been done by our own Mickey Baruti. The Great Vigil of Easter is Saturday evening. It will be broadcast from St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Baltimore City. Hope you'll take part in that with a great preacher, Tamika. And on Sunday morning, the great day of resurrection, our celebration will uh, begin of the Easter season at 1030 on Zoom. I hope you will don your Easter best, your bonnet, your hat, your bow tie, whatever it may be. Put on your festive attire and join us with great music and what Easter is really all about. It is a bittersweet week, obviously, in so many different ways. Uh, the story, but also of our story right now as human beings in this world. And so we pray and walk together with the hope and the promise that one day soon we will be worshiping face to face uh, in person. We close with this prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. God's blessing be upon you and those you love this Holy Week.